Welcome to Learn for Grow, your passport to effective communication and confident expression. Join our English communication series where simplicity meet impact. Subscribe now for easy, enjoyable lessons that evaluate your conversation skill. Let's make language your superpower together. Hit subscribe. Let the communication adventure begin. Hello guys, welcome back to the English language learning series. This is me Praveen. Today we are going to learn the most used concept of English grammar that is none other than articles. Let's have a articles in this session. We will learn about the articles, what are the types of articles where we can use what are the rules and regulations for the articles and articles how it plays important role for the communication and how much it is very effective while speaking let's see the first definition of the article what's a definition see here articles are a type of determine determiner in english grammar used to introduce and specify nouns means they indicate whether the noun being referred to a specific or unspecific that's the simple definition of an articles what is saying it is a de determiner for a in a english grammar it will give the information or it will introduce or specify a noun okay that is called an article okay in articles we have a there are two types okay that is called first one is definite articles and second one is indefinite articles okay we have categorized two types one is definite another one is indefinite okay let's we will go one by one with the deep concept with few of the examples and key characteristics okay let's have first one definite articles see the definition what it's saying the definite article in english represented by the word the okay in definite article it will be represented by the the okay it is used to specify and identify a particular noun that is a noun to a reader or the listener okay and it has been previously mentioned in the context okay it indicates a level of specific specificity okay referring to a specific and recognized item or a set of items okay just keep in mind okay definite articles means it the okay t h e the is a definite articles okay it will specify and identify a particular noun okay it will specify particular noun that time we can use the articles we will, let me see the key characteristics when we use what the it how it will behaves and rules and regulations when we use the the okay let's see our first the key characteristics of definite articles let's see the first one identification okay first key characteristics is definite articles is identification t is used to identify and specify a particular noun that is known to the reader listener and it has been mentioned before okay means it do the work first one is identifications okay next one is specificity means it indicates that the noun being referred to the referred to is unique or has a specific identity within the given context means it will indicates okay indicates that the noun being referred to is unique when it is unique right that time it will specify okay that is the second one key characteristics let's have a third prior mention or knowledge means definite articles are employed when the noun has been previously introduced or is already familiar to both the speaker and the audience means definite articles are employed when the noun has been previously introduced that time is already or familiar for both the speaker and audience that time it gives the prior or knowledge and next one is use with singular and plural nouns means it can be used with singular as well as plural the 
D can be used with the both singular and plural noun. Distinguishing specific instance or a set of instance means it will use for both singular as well as plural. Okay. Next one is superlative adjectives. They used with the before super relative adjective to denote the highest degree of a quality among a degree means has be studying in adjective what is the super relative if you not uh, learn that uh, section okay please go i have already made on video on this okay if you seen this you can understood the concept of super relative adjective okay next one is ordinal number it is used with ordinal number to specify a particular position or order in a sequence means it is used with ordinal number also let's have a rules and regulations of definite articles we already now seen the key characteristics and let's we see seen with the rules and regulation first rules is use the when referring to a specific noun okay when we use the noun oh sorry the that time it requires a specific noun let's have an example here I saw a movie movie specific the movie was amazing when specific noun was mentioned that time we can use the okay I see here see here I saw a movie that is specific the movie where we used the movie was amazing that time we can use next one use the with unique item or item known to both the speaker and the listener means use with unique the sunset is the west means sun is a unique in earth okay that, that that's why cosmos that's why d is used that time right let's have a third one use d with a superlative adjective c is the fastest runner in the team fastest is the superlative adjective okay that time you can use the and next one is use the with the ordinal number see here he is the third he is the third is the number right person in the line that time before the word we can use that next one is omit the when referring to non-specific or general items omit means we need to ignore means we don't use the the see i want to buy a car okay see here we didn't use the okay omit means we have to be ignore or with a not use in sentence that time you can call it as omit next one is omit the with the proper nouns means see here she visited paris last summer means here also we didn't use the the why because paris is a proper noun already we have given proper okay these are the rules of the definite articles we will go one by one and have a few more examples on each and we can understood from that okay let's have first rules with example example of definite articles use the when referring to a specific noun noun right see here the cat on the windsill is sleeping see here cat is a specific noun right that time share in this sentence the cat refers to a specific cat that is known or mentioned in the contest so that's why it gives the specific let's say our second example i need to return the book i borrowed from the i borrowed from you see here the book point to a specific book that the speaker borrowed and the listener is aware of see here where we used before the book we can use because book is a proper uh, sorry book is a specific noun okay see here see want to visit the museum that is near the park the museum museum is a specific that's here the museum refers to a specific museum that is known to both the speaker and the listener the teacher praised the student for the excellent work. See here, the student is the part, is a particular student who is performed exceptional well, and both the speaker and the listener are aware of this student. When 
both the listener as well as speaker aware of that student that time it gives the specific because both are known of the student right that time we can use the before the student let's have one one more example we enjoy the movie we watched the last night the movie indicates a specific movie that the speaker and the audience watched recently means speaker as well as audience both are watch the movie that time we can use the before the movie these are the few examples in when we use the specific noun that time we can use the the okay let's see with other unique items or known the both speaker and listener means when the unique let's see the example let's go to the top of the apl tower means see here the apple tower is a unique and well known landmark familiar to both the speaker and the listener see is a apple tower is a unique in the world so that time we can before the unique word we can use the the right she has a painting by the picasso in her living room means she has a painting by the picasso is also unique painting right in the living room see here the picasso refers to a specific painting by the well known artist recognized by the both the speaker and the listener we visited the grand can canway during our road trip means the grand canway is a specific well known geographical features known to the both speaker and listeners i can't find my keys have you seen the spare key means see here the spare key refers to a specific known spare key both the speaker as well as listener this is the example of unique items let's have dinner at the best restaurant in the town means that is unique the best restaurant is refer to specific establishment known to both speaker and the listener right these are the example of a uh, unique article okay let's have the next one is example of definite article used the with the superlative adjective she is the fastest runner on the team means fastest here the we use the adjective see here the fastest denotes the highest degree of speed among the all team member this is the tallest building in the city means the tallest indicate that this building has the greatest height compared to all other in this city he is known as the most talented museum in town means the most talented scientist means that he possess the highest level of talent among all museum in the town it was declared the best movie of the year means the best suggests that this movie achieved the highest ranking among all movie released in the particular year she received the highest score in the class the highest implies that her score is the greater among the all student in the class so that's why we can use adjective highest before that we can use article definite article that is the okay let's show rules another definite articles use the with ordinal number she finish in the first place in the race see here before the first place first is a number okay before that we can use the d the first place refers to the specific position she achieved in the competition 
I will meet you at the third tropic light. See here, the third indicates the specific order of the tropic light where the meeting will take place. He is the second person in the line at the ticket counter. The second person refers to the individual in a specific position in a queue. They live on the 10th floor of the apartment building. The 10th floor specifies the exact floor of the building where they reside. I am reading the fourth chapter of the book. The fourth chapter denote the specific section of the book being read. Example of definite article omit the when referring to the non-specific or general item. I need to buy a new laptop for the work. See here we can omit mean we can ignore the we didn't write the while sentence because at that time we can ignore the articles this is also rules when we need to ignore the articles the see here i need to buy a new laptop for a work see here we didn't use the because here is a non-specific that's why it is not specified i need to buy a new laptop for a works but here we are not mentioned what is the specific laptop of the name of the laptops so that's why we didn't use the article the right a new laptop refer to any laptop that means meets the general requirement for the work c adopted a kitchen from the shelter a kitchen refers to any kitchen available for the adoption adoption at the shelter he wants to be a doctor when the grows up means a doctor refers to an a uh, doctor refers to any doctor as possible has a potential future career choice can you pass me an umbrella it's raining outside an umbrella refers to any umbrella available without specifying a particular one i am looking for a good book to read over the weekend a good book refers to any book that is enjoyable to read means we didn't specify the name of the books that time we can ignore we can omit the the article okay let's see the other rule example of definite article omit the with proper nouns we can non specific time also we can ignore the the article as well as in proper non mentioning that time also we can ignore see here I visited Paris last summer because Paris is a specific city and omission of the the is a appropriate when mentioning proper nouns. She works for a Microsoft has a software engineer means Microsoft is a specific company and the options the is the appropriate with proper nouns. My favorite band is the pitless means the pitless is the specific musical group and the proper noun does not take the in the in this contest he wants to harvard university for his undergraduate studies means harvard university is the specific institution and the is not used be, uh, before proper nouns we visited mount everest during our trek in the himalayas see here mount everest is the specific mountain and the is omitted with proper nouns as we studied these are the rules regulations of the uh, definite articles when we can use the definite articles and when we need to omit the definite articles already we have studied okay let's have the next one is indefinite articles see here indefinite articles are used a subset of article in english grammar represented by the words a and an these articles are used to introduce non specific or a generic nouns indicating that the speaker is not referring to a particular or previously mentioned instance 
அப்படி நான் இந்த இன்டிப்னெட் ஆர்டிகல்ஸ் கன்வே அ சென்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஒன் ஆர் எனி அதர் தேன் ரேதர் தேன் அ ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் ஆர் அ நோன் என்டிட்டி லெஸ் சி த கீ கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் வி கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஃப்ரம் தேட் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் நான் ஸ்பெசிஃபிசிட்டி இன்டெஃபினெட் ஆர்டிகல்ஸ் ஆர் யூஸ்டு when referring a non specific or a generic instance of a noun means they don't specify a particular item or more general in nature this is the first key characteristics of the indefinite articles let's see the second one choose between a and an the choice between a and an depend on the sound that follows the articles not the actual first letter a uh, is used before word that begin with consonant sound by and is used before word that begins with vowels as we know vowels and consonants of english okay that time we can use a uh, and an we will check in next examples how we use where we use okay let's see the first key characteristics introduction i introduction of singular countable nouns means indefinite articles are typical used with a singular countable nouns to refer to any one of the types they are not used with plural nouns or non countable nouns means when we can use indefinite articles means indefinite articles are typically used with a singular countable nouns that time only we can use a and they are not used with a plural or non countable this is the third one and flexibility in the references means this is the fourth one indefinite articles are follows flexibility in reference indicating that the speaker is not pointing to a specific or previously mentioned instance of a noun see here used in general statements indefinite articles are commonly used in general statements and when making broad or non specific references means indefinite articles are commonly used with general statement only and with making a broad and non specific references let's see the rules and regulations of indefinite articles use a before word that begin with the consonants see here i saw a cat in the alley means as we know i o u these are the vowels and consonants okay as we know what are the vowels and what are the consonants okay see here cat okay cat is a consonants okay that time we can use a she wants to buy a car second one rules regulation is use an before word that begin with a vowel sound see here she adopt an adorable puppy means a is a vowel okay that time we can use and he is an excellent guitarist means he also is a vowel so that's why we can use and avoid using indefinite article with non countable nouns i need some information see here instead of i need an information here we use some okay that's why avoid using an articles that time we can avoid the indefinite articles usage do not use indefinite articles with plural nouns she has dogs means instead of she has a dog she has dog okay here we can in bracket i have mentioned she has a right that time you can use a but she has dogs means that time we didn't use the indefinite articles use indefinite articles to introduce a singular countable non singular countable noun for the first time in the sentence 
I want to buy a new phone. This is the one rules and next one is use independent article to make generalization means he is a good student that will make generalization good means it will make the generalization see is an experienced cheap right while indefinite articles to make a generalization that time we can use the indefinite articles right let's uh, move on uh, we will uh, go with one by one rules and we will take the uh, examples on each then only we can understood what the exact usage of an indefinite articles first one is an example of indefinite article use a before that begin with the consonant sound see here i would like a cup of tea here a cup of tea refers to any cup of tea not a specific one and the use of a, a indicates non specificity okay see here he is a talented mu musician a talented musician suggests that he is one of the one of he is one among many talented musician the definite articles implies a uh, non specific musician she brought a new car yesterday a, a new car indicates any newly purchased car without specifying a particular make or model there is a dog barking outside a dog refers to any dog that is currently barking outside not a specific one right and last one is he is wearing a blue shirt means a blue shirt implies any shirt of color blue without specifying a particular one that time we can use an indefinite article right let's have a few example of uh, indefinite articles use and before word that is begun with vowel sound see here C want to buy an umbrella for the rainy season. As I said, A E I O U. Okay, these are the vowels, right? Umbrella start with U letter. That is the O vowel letter. So that's why before that we can use indefinite article an. See here, an umbrella refers to umbrella suitable for the rain season. He is an honest man who always speak the truth see here an honest man implies any man known for honesty not a specific individual i saw an interesting movie last night an interesting movie indicates any movie that catches the viewers interest she adopted an adorable kitchen from the animal shelter an adorable kitchen refers to any cut kitchen available for adoption i need an extra chair for the guest an extra chair implies any additional chair needed for guest without specifying a particular one these are the examples of the and uh, usage of an article begun with an oval sounds okay let's have a next one rules that is example of indefinite articles avoiding using indefinite articles with non countable nouns see here she need some information we can't count the information okay see here some information is used instead of an information because information is a non countable noun as i said he gave me a few advice on the project a few piece of advice is used instead of an an advice because advice is not countable they have a lot of equipment in the gym a lot of equipment is used instead an equipment because equipment is non countable I would like a little help with this task. A little help is used instead of a help because help is non-countable, right? 
like that only she has a great deal of patience means a great deal of patience is used instead of a patience because patience is non countable right let's have us next one next rules they have some friend visited this weekend means some friend is used instead of a friends because friend is a plural right i need a few supplies for the project a few supplies is used instead of a supply because supplies a is a plural we brought a couple of book at the bookstore means a couple books is used instead of books because books is a plural she has many talents in various field many talents is used instead of a talents because talents is a plural i will bring some cookies to the party some cookies used instead of a cookies because cookies is plural next rule is use independent articles to introduce a singular countable noun for the first time in the sentence means i saw a beautiful sunset yesterday a beautiful sunset introduces the idea of a specific at unspecified sunset she adopted a stray cat from the neighborhood a stray cat introduces a concept of a specific cat without specifying with one he found an interesting article in the magazine an interesting article introduces the nation nation of a specific cat unnamed articles they visited a historic castle during their vacation a historic castle introduced the idea of a specific castle without specifying which one i need a new computer for my work means a new computer introduced the concept of a specific computer without specifying the brand or model these are the rules of an indefinite articles i hope we cover both definite and indefinite articles as well as we discuss the key characteristics of definite and indefinite articles and the usage of definite article the when we use and when we need to avoid the usage we can already study it okay as well as with a and an when we can use we deeply study the rules and regulations okay if you follow these rules and regulations it will definitely help to communicate or in journey of an english language learning series thanks guys thank you for joining learn for growth english communication series if you enjoyed enhancing your language skill with us don't forget to hit subscribe and stay tuned for a more exciting journey into the world of effective communication until next time keep learning keep growing